Slow bells ringing day, uh oh, 13. We are going to do a brandy run to lay, docking with rotational correction turned off. Get hot in the sunshine. We can definitely do that. Mm, I'm not together today. This is gonna be, we're gonna be a long night. We'll have fun. Definitely, it's a wang wiggling kind of night. Let's go, shall we? We're not going to kill anyone today. It's the first day of 2015. I missed you guys last night. I did it my way. 140. Yes! <sighs> my hands are very slippery today. I'm struggling to cope today. Be nice to me. Don't give me too many shocks. Whatevs. The forces are gathering. Happy New Year. I am titanium. So sue me. Get away from my heads, everybody. You naughty commander, whoever that was. You have to be nice to me tonight, everybody. Who's driving? There's nobody in there. That's a bit spooky. Oh, crazy fools. They are troublemakers. Can you feel my pain? <laughs> Morning, heat level's critical. And that's pretty much how I feel today. Ready. Did somebody just interdict me? You little tinker. It's a very busy bot you've got there. <sighs> it's cruel. Can we stop interdicting me now, please? Pretty please. Breaker, breaker, we've got ourselves a convoy. I am titanium. We've got some liquor. Who is juggling me? Have you got me sandwiched? You've broken me. We're gonna pick ourselves up some. <laughs> You're so naughty, all of you. It's a bit bright for my delicate state. Who? Oh, you're gonna make me crash into the sun. Will you Under attack. Oh no, it's not one of you. I'm running away, I'm running away. Alcoholic beverages, party favours, maybe some hats, or those things that go pop. Those ones. We don't say that. Flaps. We're just like a cosmic drinks trolley at the moment, aren't we? We're ripping through this again tonight, aren't we? Yeah, I'm not going to hang around with you like you're dangerous today. <laughs> My thrust has got all sweaty. Keep your weapons inside your hull, please. Good afternoon. The snack trolley is about to come down your aisle. <sighs> it's all very hard work today. High demand for liquor, easy. Thank you. Handbrake turn. <laughs> Rotational correction disabled. Thank you for being an idiot, Kate. Give myself a seizure. Radioactive waste. We don't need milk. We want brandy and alcoholic beverages and cocktail sausages and those little mini scotch eggs, sausage rolls, and maybe a bottle of champagne to celebrate. Will you stop dropping chaff in my face, whoever that is? Do you mind? It's the height of rudeness. Total is four hundred and fifty-eight pounds. So if you want to get your hands on my hot ass, make sure you're here tomorrow. And I see there are already 221 of you gathered keen to get your hands on my hot ass, it would appear. Welcome to Slough Bells Ringing, day 14. The final day. Congratulations, everybody. Cheers. I'm drinking... Glasgow Hole Strippers tonight, which is the drink my character favours in my book, which you'll find out a little bit later. Mm. It's a cosmopolitan, really. 
Um, excellent. So we are on and you know what? We start tonight on the last day of our journey. Exactly where we started it on the first day. <laughs> Lave station. If we make it tonight, well first of all it will be a blooming miracle if we make it with all of our brandy in our hold. Second of all, it will make me realise that I could have just done this in one day. But we wouldn't have had as much fun, would we? Um, okay. Let's do the announcements to start off with. Thank you to my lovely bods again. Barry is here with his busy bot and he's keeping you all informed and I'm sure that others will turn up later. Um, Baz Floyd is here as well. Thank you Baz for coming. Baz Floyd works for Special Effects so if you've got any questions about Special Effect then he's your man. Um, and of course tonight is the last day all in support of Special Effect who are an amazing charity who do brilliant work helping people with physical disabilities enjoy games on the same level with people who don't have physical disabilities. So. Um, they do brilliant work and so far, yesterday, we finished, well yesterday in total, we raised £472.08. Yes we did. And that brought us to a total, overall so far, of £4,431.88. So, to celebrate, I've got a new sound effect on my email. Um, so uh, as those of you who are watching yesterday know, I've got my iPad here and every time I get an email it makes a noise and at this time of night those emails are all going to be from just giving, telling me that somebody's made a donation. So hopefully we'll see that, well hopefully we won't see that noise, if we see that noise it'd be a bit weird wouldn't it? But hopefully we'll hear that noise going off like a trumpet throughout the evening. Um, please dig deeply, as deeply as you can, but no deeper than that because we don't want you to uh, completely empty your pockets. Um, but if you can afford to give a couple of pounds, currently 219 of you in the channel, if all of you give you a couple of, if all of you give a couple of pounds, um, then we've got over 400 pounds. See, that's the kind of maths I'm capable of at this time of night. Um, nothing more accurate than that. I'm going to move this closer. You feel very far away from me tonight. Um, yeah, so please give as generously as you can. You can pay, pay by PayPal, um, you can um, pay by credit card and um, the address that you want to pay to is going to be posted by Barry's bot in the channel, probably as I speak. He's helpful like that. Tonight we are covering preemptive attack on Lave Radio and that was Shanerai's idea so we are definitely going to do that. One of the first things we're going to do load up with bio waste which Lave sell. They actually sell it themselves. So we're going to load up with bio waste. Every, every place that you have free will go just outside the no fire zone so we don't get fined and then we'll dump it. <laughs> and then that is the sound effect. It's all fluffy from the minions. Um, thank you, whoever that was. Donation in the bag. Cha ding. Um, yeah, we're going to purchase. Then we're going to come back into Lave Station. We're going to fill up on party drinks. Um, we are going to head for Slough without stopping on the way, and we are going to party. And tonight we usually do Challenge Kate, and I'll play you the logo. I'll play you the jingle anyway because it's made by the lovely Dala. Challenge Kate. I cut it off a bit early then. What I meant to do was turn the VLC player off so that you could see Lave Station. Um, but I didn't. I cut that jingle off in its prime. So sorry about that, Darla. But yeah, challenge Kate. But I think tonight it's challenge everyone. I've got a few challenges for you when we get to Slough. Yes, I do. And I know that a couple of people are going to be waiting. Hopefully if we zone together, a couple of people are going to be waiting just outside Lave Station. Um, Phil Hibbs has got some nice alcohol rares for us to collect because um, he still feels guilty about blowing me up <laughs> on day four, I think it was, with all of my money invested in Lavian and Brandy in my hold. Mm. Um, and um, somebody's got an egg for me as well. Who's got an egg for me? Um, someone's got... Um, a potty man has got a leathery egg for me. Not sure what that is, or even if I want it in my hold, but I'm willing to give it a scoop and see how it feels. Um, 
so yeah loads to cover tonight um, we'll chat a bit more as we get going but let's jump into the game for now because we have got quite a lot of ground to cover tonight all things considered um, and don't worry if you're not in the same instance as us what happened last night is as we kind of traveled around we um, you know when we're all friends together so friend each other share names in the channel friend each other when we're all friends together and we zone pretty much at the same time from point A to point B then the game will go up oh, those people are like probably together or chasing each other or something so um, you know it will try and group us together so let's do that and see if we can't all get um, together in um, when we get to Slough now I do have a confession to make well not a confession but I did actually we, we first thing we were going to do is buy Lavian and Brandy but I thought earlier on today I thought oh they probably only make a certain amount at a certain amount of time so I thought well I'll just go and fill up because there'll be other people buying and stuff as well because I think we're all buying from the same market so I've now got uh, I think as many uh, Lavian Brandy I don't know where I can go eight least in evil juice I'm not sure if I could buy more but no more have popped up so I've now got my quota of Lavian Brandy so what we need to do first and everybody do do it everybody do it they're only cheap they're like 93 each um, Oh, they haven't got any. No, they've got a demand for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we can we can fulfil that demand. So, what we need to do first of all is we need to go to the map and we need to find out how we buy, where we can buy, buy a waste from. And this was Shanerai's idea. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Is it there? Buy a waste. There we are. Buy a waste. Let's turn off the. We don't necessarily want to see that. We just want to know where we can buy bio waste. Hopefully the map's going to draw up soon because, come on, has nobody got any bio waste for sale? We could be scuppered. Is it going to draw up? Have I done something wrong? Another two donations. Thank you very much. Anyone got any ideas? Um, while you come back to me on that, well, I'm just going to see if any load up. Has nobody got any bio waste? Maybe if we go down. Mm -hmm. No. Go up. Mm -hmm. No. How strange. Maybe they heard about her plan. Live <laughs> Radio have got a crew together. They've bought all the bio... Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hmm. <laughs> so, there is currently no bio waste on sale in the Milky Way. I could find a sea of bio waste waiting for me at the lake. Oh, why did we tell them last night that was what we were going to do? Oh, idiots! Oh, I don't know. All system but constipated after Christmas dinner, Jean Bellows saying. Uh, Mark M is in this evening as well, uh, modding for you now. And Fiery Toad is here as well, thank you very much. And Karash is here, who's very kindly said to delay the start of his uh, cast a little bit tonight so that we can get finished with our Empire Day party. I think he just wants to come along and have a drink with us personally as well. Um, I have no idea why there is no bio waste for sale in conceivable space. So what do we do? I know. It's so fluffy. It's so fluffy. There's another donation. What we'll do then, if we can't leave bio waste on their doorstep, because they've probably taken it to mine. How about fish? Do we just leave some fish out there? How much fish have they got? They've got quite a lot of fish. It's a bit more expensive. Algae. Right. Right, they've got 4,900 algae, guys. Flood your hold with algae. Let's just go and dump a load. Because, to be fair, once algae's been hanging around in the void for a couple of hours, it's probably going to turn into bio waste anyway, right? So. Checking the commodities where it imports from. That's Stuart. Sorry, I just looked over there. some chat going on. Um, Stuart Forges says, check, in, check where they buy it from. 
Um, we don't want to go running all over the place. We've got loads to do in Slough, right? No, no, no. Somebody's saying that they're seeing too many quality streams tonight. Ah, oh, the stone fox wants to do everything. Buy Oasis of <laughs> Shift Run Stop. Buy Oasis available from Vespa M4. Well, yeah, probably they've been probably clearing it up. They've probably been clear. Right, let's just let's just flood them with algae. Everybody, everybody, get algae. I'm not going to run all over the galaxy looking for bio waste at this time of night. Cheers. It's not that, not something I ever thought I'd hear myself saying on a Friday night. And I'm just going to go and take off. Let's take off. Let's go 4K away outside the no, no um, fire zone, and then we will um, dump our algae, sea of algae, to welcome them home, um, and then we'll see if we can't hook up with Phil Hibbs to um, maybe replace our algae with something slightly more pleasant. Another donation. Thank you very much. Thank you very Oh, we haven't set a target tonight, have we? Engaged. We have not asked. Oh, so people are saying there was bio waste, but we're, we're going algae now. I think it's better anyway. Algae. Um, yes. And so we'll, we'll see if we can hook up with Phil Hibbs as well. Oh, I've still got my... Laps. Hello, everybody. Bio waste. Somebody's already dropped some bio waste out there for me. Thank you. Brilliant. So 4K. I'm gonna put some more pips in my shields because I know what you lot are like when you get excited. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, we're outside the no fire zone. <laughs> There's already some fire waste there. <laughs> Let's see who's around tonight. Let's have a look. Before we mess up the area with uh, w with canisters of algae, as Commander McLaren is here. Commander Festicles Fuzz, what a brilliant name. Oh, is that some more? Bio-waste. Bio-waste. <laughs> Commander Sharky, people have been out here already. Drop in bio-waste. I think that's Gene Bellow. I don't even need to target him. I know what he looks like. Commander Ulrich. Right. Who's that at the back? Come on, a manicky bird dog. Right, first things first. I am dumping my. Oh, hello. Come on, a timer as well. Wonderful. So, all the crew are here. I haven't yet seen Phil Hibbs, but I'm sure he will. Uh, Commander Anaplan. Oh, someone's going to. Oh, Commander Jack of Blood there. Nearly. Oh, that's a nice ship you've got there. Piratey. Right. Scan detected. No, don't care. Yeah, I'm being told not to dump the brandy. Yes, I shan't dump the brandy. Who, who scammed me, by the way? I'm just going to check. Was it Port Authorities? No. Right. Let's dump the algae. Cargo, algae. I'll abandon it. I'll let them pick it up if they want to. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh! There we are. Abandon 17 algae. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's back up a bit. Look at all that debris flying around. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 17. They're going to turn into bio waste in no time. Brilliant. Right. So let's just have a look in comms and see who's in our um, location. Do we have Commander Team Anaplan, Fescals Fuzz, Stephen Kerry, Bonkill, Oakenbau, Jean Bello, Stuart Ford, Ulrich, Octavius, Commander Timeru, Maniki Burdog, Nuzild, um, oh, Allied Police Forces checking up on us. I don't see canisters. <laughs> Canister, 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 canister. Canister, oh, vicious brew. Someone's dropped some vicious brew. Slaves. <laughs> Liquor. <laughs> There's all sorts of strange things lying around. <laughs> Chateau de Agignon. <laughs> Lady and Brandy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Somebody's already targeted. Somebody's already left some for us, haven't they? So where's the Lady and Brandy? Not mine, is it? No. <laughs> oh, they're 
there's le there's there's Lavian brandy and all sorts. Ow, no, that's my algae. I'm not picking that up. Oh, oh dear. Who was that? Who the hell was that? Someone were they trying to ram me with my hold full of Lavian brandy? Do you think that's what was going on? I think you guys might have just protected me. <laughs> see, I see Lavy and Brandy lying around. We look down here. And Aurelian Vicious Brew, which as I guess is... Uh, why isn't my... Um, see, the compass isn't showing me where that is, is it? Everyone spot the Lavy and Brandy? It's Algon Bloom what done it. The algae's broken the street. Oh no. Hopefully. Hopefully you're back. Hopefully, you're, you're, <laughs> look at the radar. <laughs> there is so much algae flying around here. Who got blown up? No, yeah, you're all wondering where's the feed gone? Where's the feed gone? And I, because I saw it had stopped working, so I've just restarted the stream. Hopefully, look at. There's a lady in brandy. I think Phil Hibbs may have left that lying around for us so if you see anything worth picking up on the way can't go quiet Let's see we can't Scan get any more somebody's scanning me bio waste algae <laughs> going on with this stream okay I've started it again and I'm really hoping that this time it is going to um, it's going to hold up I'm looking over there hopefully in about 42 seconds I uh, in the meantime I'm going to plot a map because I guess I'm going to pl plot a route to Slough let's get out of here because it seems that the amount of waste that we have left lying around is um is causing severe problems with this instance. So let's wait for the map to draw up. And we'll just get out of oh no, we wanted to get some more wine and beer, didn't we? Well let's do that. Let's see if maybe now it's settled down and people have stopped dropping stuff. I'm gonna redock and I'm gonna see if I can just pick up fill up the rest of my hold. <laughs> Look at it. Oh Chateau de Achion, what's that? Let's pick that up because that looks tasty. Hopefully the stream will start again. I'm looking over there periodically because currently it's not started. But there's another donation. Yes, you could be using this time to donate to Special Effect, who are a brilliant charity who um, basically, you know how much fun we're having playing games, right? Doesn't everybody deserve to have that much fun playing games? And that's the deal with Special Effect. Barry will tell you anything that you need to know. Baz Floyd is in the channel. He actually is uh, works for Special Effect. <laughs> I don't know what Chateau de Adrenon is. I hope it's not stolen. Let's just check that. No, look at that. No idea what it is, but it sounds like it's good for a party. Right, guys. I'm going to get inside. I'm going to fill up with beer and wine. And then we'll... That's so funny. 
They are going to do their nuts when they get in. Oh, hang on. No. I want to talk to you. I don't want to, I don't want to shoot you, Lave Station. <sighs> Observe Starport protocol during your during your visit to Lave Station. Of course, of course we would. We would absolutely <laughs> just see a cloud on the radar of white things behind me, which are mostly... You guys should scour those. Uh, somebody's dropped some uh, rares for us, and I think there may be Phil Hibbs as, uh, as just thrown some stuff down there. So have a scout around. If you see anything that isn't bio-waste or algae, or slaves, let's leave the slaves as well. <laughs> That's got to be the ultimate insult, hasn't it? Yes, indeed. I don't know why I'm going so slowly. I'm just going to get in. Oh, I've got my cargo scoop out. That's why. Cargo scoop retracted. Okay. It made me go a lot slower. Right. Let's just fill up on what else we need. Whatever else we need. I'm not, I'm not being very successful today. It's because it's Crash is in again. It makes me nervous. You didn't see me docking with flight assist turned off, did you? Oh. Is it me or is it a bit squiffy? <laughs> it looks like the stream. Is the stream gone offline again? I'm just going to wait and see what you say. And I'm just, in the meantime, I'm just going to fill up. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I'm just going to fill up on beer and wine. Now, you've gone offline, but I think my broadcast software is probably still recording, so I'll put this, actually that's a good point, I'll put this in the, um, I'll put this in the edit, so at least you get to see it. But we have totally broken, I don't know what we've broken, we've broken everything, we've broken the in internet, I think. Um, right. Let's get a wine. How much room have we got? Ten wine. And the rest, beer. Right. <laughs> You'll see this tomorrow. Now, I'm going to jump to, as I've just told you in chat, I'm going to jump to Leasty. And um, we're going to <laughs> restart the stream when I get to Leasty. And um, I'm really sorry that you're not seeing this now. I'm having a lot of fun. Cheers. We just need to get out of lave. We have caused what is technically known as a kerfuffle. <laughs> I've got to take a screenshot actually of the sea of sea of canisters when I get out there. <gasps> Brilliant. Ah, no. Ah. Right. I'm gonna pick those up. Oh, my cargo base full. Oh well. <laughs> Oops. Right. Cargo scoop retracted. Screenshot that. <laughs> and now let's head. Felicity. We'll head for Felicity. I will restart my stream. I guess some of it. I mean, I can see that that's actually moving a little bit at a time. Yeah, so maybe I'll just head to Leasty and see. 
There's another donation. Brilliant. I can't believe what we we've completely busted Lave. So, Lave Radio, that's what happens when you threaten to dump toxic waste in my star system. So named Shinerai, Shinerai was asking earlier, mentioning that Vespa M4, Slough is on the M4. Well, I got to name the planet and the, um, uh, and the space station and the, um, and the system. So I named it Vespa M4, and Vespa is um, Latin for westbound. So it is, in fact, Slough on the westbound M4. Oh, yes. And in my book, the... Um, no, I have to be a bit careful. There's Commander Dala waiting for us. Oh, the canisters will be gone soon. Apparently the canisters will be gone soon. They only last a little while. So let's just wait here a second. There's Commander Dala, the maker of my jingle. And um, if that, what I'll do, I'm actually going to restart the stream now, so um, hopefully I'll we'll sort, sort it out for you over there. So, stay right there. I'll be back in about 42 seconds because I have to wait for it to finish its um, stream before I can start a new stream. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if you get back to me. So what I'll do now then is I will jump into the game. I'll keep an eye on over there. In about 42 seconds I should 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 see the advert play. And then um, hopefully you will be joining me back on air. Hey! Hey! There you go. It looks like we might be back in business. So <laughs> let's plot our route now. We're heading straight to Slough everybody. Straight to Slough. Vespa M4. No shenanigans, no messing about, no interdicting. I'm looking at you Jean Bellow and Team Kill. Although Jean Bellow did do a very nice generous donation to Special Effects uh, it's as recompense for his interference. Um, so thank you very much for that. That was very nice. Um, we're just waiting for Vespa M4. <laughs> Hopefully, nothing is drawing up for me. Oh, there it is. Here it comes. It's coming for us. So, tonight, as promised, we have sausage rolls. I egg washed them this time. My niece told me that's the way to make them brown. We have pretty much endless supply of what's it still. We have. Glasgow Hull Stripper, which is the drink that my character favours in my book. When we get to Slough, we've got some, uh, we've got some champagne. Well, it's cheap prosecco, but it's the same thing, really. <laughs> it's what I always find, anyway. Almost there. It's just coming. See, these are drawing out now. We just have to wait because we're quite a long way away from it. Um, so it might take us quite a while, uh, but we can chat on the way. Lots to chat about. I started a forum, did I say that already? Um, Barry's bot has those details for you. I started a forum. Oh, it's over 100 light years away, so I won't be able to plot it. That's what somebody's telling me. So, what's the nearest... Um, let's go home and see somewhere that's on the way. Hmm. Go down to Slough, let's mark it, and then we'll go back up to where we are, and we'll pick somewhere kind of halfway between the two. Let's try there. We want the fastest route, definitely, because we want to get to our party. Oh, and now it's working it out again. That's another donation. We didn't set a target tonight, did we? Well, anyway, it's close enough for now. So I'm heading for Kunch, whatever that is. Kunchadras is where we're headed now. 
and then we'll hopefully we'll be able to plot another route when we get there. Um, let's just motor it. <clears throat> so yeah, after tonight is finished, oh, total. Have we, we haven't set a total. What do we reckon? Why well, reckon we should maybe? Two, one, and engage. Everybody's having trouble in there. There's too many of us and we're all kind of grouped together and we arrive en masse and they're like, oh, we haven't put the peanuts out, we haven't put the cocktails out. Quick, somebody go and get some more ice. Um, it's all right, we bought our own drinks, we bought our own snacks. We don't need catering for, we just need a clean and friendly instance with no lag, basically. So what should we aim for? All this 14 days, for those of you who are new tonight, I see we have now 214 people in. Thank you for joining us. Um, for everyone who's free tonight, um, what we've been doing is for 14 nights we've been... Um, We've been setting a target that we want to get to, to um, unlock the giveaways, to say thank you for coming along to the stream and for donating so generously to Special Effect. You don't have to have donated in order to um, participate in the role at the end of the night, about nine o'clock. Um, but if you can give, anything you can give would be greatly, really gratefully, oh, it's on the other side of the planet. Everything you, uh, sun rather, everything, um, yes, anyone, anyone's welcome to roll at the end of the night and I'll explain that when we get there. And we've got a bumper, a truly bumper crop of giveaways tonight. Everyone's been really generous and I'm going to try and do them in vision. Normally I'll go to text and I'll do it in text as well, uh, but I'm going to keep talking to you so that I can say thank you to all the people who've been so generous with their donations um, throughout this two week period. Um, we've got loads of stuff. We've got lunch with me at the BBC. Um, we've got my hot ass signed, my old uh, tea flight hot ass. Um, I only used it for two weeks and then I decided I need something a bit more solid <laughs> to get my hands on. So um, I'm giving that away. <clears throat> we've got both audiobooks that we've been listening to excerpts of from um, from Fantastic Books Publishing, the anthology short stories collection, and mine, Mostly har Harmless. Um, and there are more from um, Fantastic Books coming over the months ahead. They, they have five books in total, Lave Revolution, Elite Reclamation, and Hear the Wheel, and mine, and, and the... Um, and the anthology. And for those of you asking about Audible, basically um, the publisher needs five products to put on Audible before they are uh, they will take them. So we are definitely going to get them onto Audible. Um, unfortunately at the moment we've only got two ready so you just have to be a little bit patient if you want to Four, use your three, Audible credits two, to get one, those. Energy. We're just tearing up space tonight. Yes. Tearing up the internet as well, apparently. <laughs> tearing up Twitch, we are tearing up Twitch. But that's all right. We're on. We're on target. What are we? Oh, not getting distracted by the sun. Nope. It's Empire Day. Happy Empire Day, everybody. That deserves a drink. Hmm. <laughs> Three. It's all fluffy. Three, two, Three more fluffy one, donations. Eight. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Did we even set a target? Do you know what? I don't care. Do you know what? Just give as much as you can. Tonight it's all about having a party. So, and there's no ticket price on this party. Just give what you can, and let's see if we can. Let's see if we can impress ourselves. Right. Matt. Well, no, I'm not going to hang around because I'll get um, I'll get pirated, and I've got my hold full of booze for the party. Um, so let's try now and see if we can get. If we're closer than a hundred light years, I forgot that. Yes, seventy-four light years. So we just give that a moment to uh, draw up. Still on the fastest route. I think we've got enough gas. And when that's drawn up. We will head for Slough. So the deal when we get to Slough, basically, is um, I think first of all, let's head straight for the Slough Orbital Station and let's just hang in space outside Slough Orbital Station, 
not dropping anything nasty. Um, and um, yeah, I've got a little got a little thing to play you um, when we get there. So let's do that. We'll head straight for the Slough Orbital Station, and then the first thing we'll do is get you to do your screenshots. And that is the fastest route. Why are those dotty? Not sure. Um, so we'll get you to do your screenshots. Now, Commander DeLorean has been um, sitting outside Slough Orbital. He's got himself in a nice spot, wedged into the um, drive wedged into the entrance of the station. When we get there, I will play you a thing. You'll understand when I get there, um, and then you guys can um, another donation, another donation. Brilliant. Um, and then if you guys just in an orderly fashion please fly one at a time into Slough Space Station make sure you book yourself a parking spot first otherwise they will blow you up um, and then um, if you just take it sort of r relatively slowly going through so that Commander DeLorean has the opportunity to target you and um, and then screenshot you as you go through. So don't go zooming through like Speedy Gonzalez, going, "Oh, I'll impress everyone," because you'll just be you won't be in the shot. It'll just be a shot of an empty airlock. So on your head, be it. Um, and then when we've done that, uh, if it takes a little bit longer than the video, I may play you another video just while we finish doing off those screenshots. Um, a video of special effects work, um, just so that you know why you're Four, donating tonight. Three. And um, and then yeah, and we'll start partying. <laughs> Not sure what we'll do yet. I've got some ideas. You know that circular thing flying around the circular. I thought if you all congered around there, and I shall film it so you can see yourselves congering around the um, around the entrance. That might be a fun thing to do. Um, and then at some point, we'll start the. We'll start the um, giveaways because we've got, as I said, 20 things to give to you tonight to say thank you so much for spending your Christmas with me and this whole period and helping us raise money, helping special effects continue doing the work that they do. And not only the money, but just, you know, the awareness and talking about them and the level of support because they work really hard and... Um, you know it's very rewarding but it's also really hard work and quite emotional work you know it's quite draining and so um, just knowing that there are so many people behind them understanding why they do what they do and supporting them is also I know if you know if you can't afford to give anything just doing that oh we should probably get some fuel at some point let's do that here it's nice and empty oh no hang on what's that oh, is there it's a sneaky NPC. Right, we'll stop at the next one. Hopefully it'll be a white hot one and that will... There it is. Friendship drive charging. Yeah. There might be quite a long refuel. <laughs> Didn't really think about that, did I? Maybe there'll be a close space station. Let's just see if there's a close space station. I'll nip in. I'm not going to wait for you. And we'll, we'll do all the getting together when we get outside. Just get to Slough however you can, people. Get to Slough, for God's sake. Save yourselves. Definitely don't want to run out of fuel with all this Lavian brandy. In my hold. Right, let's get in a fuel scooping position really quickly. Scooping. And then I'll have a quick look at the map and just see if there's anything. Where are we? Home. Here we are. Is there a space station close by? Ah! Oh. It's quite close. That might be considerably quicker than um, refueling because we're practically empty. So let's do that. Really quickly, going to nip into Yang Refinery and um, get some fuel. Fuel disengaged. Lots of people suddenly arriving, but they are they are non-player characters. It don't suck me. 
it's another donation thank you so much your lovely mods are giving you um, the information that you need to donate um, the just giving page um, justgiving.com slash slough bells ringing that goes straight to special effect it doesn't come through me um, it goes through just giving in exactly the same way as it would if you donated on their page so it'd be nice if you can donate on this page because then we can add up the total and pat ourselves on the back for um, our Christmas generosity and your ongoing generosity has completely oh, hello has just blown me away again and again and again um, yeah Jean Bello I know if we create private groups I'm, I'm gonna do, it's kind of I don't really want to spend time doing that now and figuring that out but we'll figure that out when we do the continuing broadcasts so the forum uh, Barry's bot if you do um, exclamation mark forum then Barry's bot will tell you the address of the forum and um, I've created just a thread in the elite uh, dangerous frontiers forums and we will um, chat there about what we want to do and how we want to organize ourselves and when we know how many people we've got interested in going on and we'll do some stuff you know we'll do things like um, you know group attack on an anaconda and maybe flipping systems and things like that so because these are all things some of the most exciting things about this game is that you can really have an influence on the whole uh, on the whole game right now I'm just gonna get fueled up and back on track for Slough and I think we're on target to get there about 8 o'clock which would be perfect timing um, to play you a video get you to use screenshots and then we can come back and start causing some mischief oh. flaps landing gear deployed Yeah, can't believe it, 14 days. I mean, on in some ways it feels like I've known you forever. I think I said this yesterday. It feels like we've been doing this forever, right? <laughs> but not in a bad way, in a good way. Um, but I'm definitely going to miss this, and I surely will carry on doing it. Somebody already challenged me uh, to a February get-together, so we'll definitely aim for February at the latest. Right. Fuel up and get out of here. We're not interested in anything other than fuel. Ding. Good. That should get us to slough. Launch. How are you doing? Forum favorited. Proxis says, is that a word? Thank you very much. Yeah. So, and if you subscribe to that forum. And if you have the options that, you know, a subscription will tell you when there's a new post, then you will be able to see um, if anybody's um, had any plans or thoughts. And, and I will let you know on which days I am planning to... Oh, still targeted the space station. That's why. It's not... Oh. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Cruces Sector MIT. Ooh, like the university. Friendship drive charging. It's that way. It's all fluffy! It's all fluffy! Another donation, I feel. I suspect. Mm. Might be time. Four, three, two, oh, what's it all two? One, you can't really eat them one at a time, can you? No, I can't. I don't know about you. I hate it when my monitor's not completely, you know, parallel to me. Mm. Nope, I'm not going. I'll come back and get you sons later. It's alright, I'm going to be around for a while now. Friendship, you right, sons Charlie. shall be named. You shall be named. It is my mission to name every son in the Milky Way. <laughs> can take a while. Hi Kate, how are things going in space? Says Heavy Metal Ninja. Rather nicely right now. Yep. Challenge Kate, blow up a space station. JJ, 78. On my own? <laughs> are you serious? 
I'm going to try ramming it. See, if I fill my hold with explosives and then go and just ram the back end of it when I, you know, pretend to park, but really I'm ramming them. I think I would work. I don't think so. I think all I would do is explode myself. But maybe, maybe, I don't know, can you kill space stations? Don't need fuel. Can you kill space stations if, if enough of you got together with big enough guns and missiles and stuff? Is that even possible? Um, what else is saying? Not been interdicted for ages, Bicky says. Um, hi, Kate has... Uh, Hillrond is getting into the spirit of things, which is good. Everyone should get into the spirit of things. You can't... So Fenris Wolf is saying, no, you cannot kill space stations. So um, that is an unachievable challenge. But that, my friends, is most likely a donation. Oh, you're... Okay, you're on the other side of the sun. You are the other side of the sun. That's why I couldn't see you. I can't believe how excited Bridge I am. We're nearly home. What's the draw? Hmm. I don't know why I've suddenly got so polite about not speaking with my mouthful in front of you. I'm doing it all week, right? On oh, two weeks. Christmas. I have had one of the best Christmas I think I've ever had. Basically. Friendship drive mm -hmm. We've got our game back. We've got our game back after, well, 30 years, basically. I mean, I know there were, you know, the, the ones in between, but Four, really, realistically. Three, two, one, engage. It's the original Elite, and then it's this one. For me. For me. But this is how the game was in my head when I was playing it. And I know we've discussed this as well before, and for, for all of us. It's all fluffy! It's all fluffy. It's absolutely what it is. Friendship drive charging. In fact, it's never been fluffier. Although that sound effect is going to go after tonight because... When I get spam during the day, that's not Four, fluffy. Three, two, one, nope. It's getting busy at Slough Orbital, Commanded Lorian is saying. If you're there already, maybe get ahead of the game and, and do your um do your docking. Get undocked, get out so other people can get docked and get in, get out. Get in, get out, shake it all about, right? <gasps> I didn't even notice. Oh, somebody's already discovered my son! <laughs> you swines! Here we are. We're home. Oh my god, I'm so emotional. I didn't even know that was... I was like... Oh, you be, 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 be. We are home, we are home, we are home. Oh, I really am quite emotional. <laughs> we are home. <laughs> right. Let's get to Slough Orbital post haste. Slough Orbital. Destination. Head off in this direction. It's, oh, look how conveniently close it is to the sun. I'm so excited. Is the stream working? The stream is working good. Imagine if it crashed now. Oh, well, it might be. It might do yet, with everybody piling in. Don't just don't drop anything. <laughs> Nobody flood slow airspace with canisters of anything. Let's hope. Let's hope that Lave Radio. Oh, my voice went funny. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Let's hope that Lave Radio haven't been here. I'm very excited. 
we are coming home. Not that my character gets on with her family or anything. She's actually always regretful to come home, but after you've had the kind of adventure that we've had, it feels good to come home. It really does. <laughs> oh, screenshot. Ta -da! There we go. <clears throat> Heading into Slough Orbital. We are a mere 10 light seconds away. What are we going to find when we get there? I wonder if it has palm trees. Hmm, doubt it. Doubt it very much. Although, there's a nice bar or two I know about. Um, Frober Hobbits has come online. I don't know if he's with us. There's Slough! There is Slough! There she is. There's my planet. My little piece of the galaxy. You know when you make those, um, these buy a star things, Christmas present things, load of rubbish, right? I actually really genuinely bought a star and a planet and a space station. Oh. Hi. Hello, Slough. What? It's exciting. <gasps> We're just... Kilometers from home, then mm's, millimeters. No, <laughs> what is that for? I don't know. Million miles, ten million miles from home. Ten million green bottles sitting on. No, I won't do a travelling song. Especially not that one. And three, two, one. Screenshot. She is. Slough Orbital. Slough Orbital and Slough. Screenshot. Oh, look, and I've even got a nice view of a nebula over there. I'm just going to back up a little bit. I'll come to the front in a second. I'm just getting this screenshot. Oh, it looks like the orbital's about to shoot from the planet. Screenshot. Right, let's go to the front. Let's go to the front of the station. I will park up and um, watch you. Have you started doing your screenshots yet? I will sort of just hover with four pips in my shields. And um, I will hover there and play you a little video whilst you get your screenshots done. I haven't, oh look at that slough, I haven't actually got permission to play this video so <laughs> I've asked for permission so um, if you're watching this on um, on the Twitch playback then it will be deaded out, it will be uh, muted because that's what they do and if you're watching this on um, YouTube there will probably be an advert on it which wasn't me, I'm not earning money for this. It's on me! Who's Aleph? It's another donation. Right, go back up. Um, yeah. So who have we got? Look at all these commanders. Brilliant. Who have we got? Oh, there's lots of NPCs around here. What is NPCs doing my instance? Tell them to go away. Commander Wilkie. Commander Chardlunt. Slow Orbital. Commander Bicky. Brilliant. Oh, someone's out of here. Ricardo Pearson is out of here. He's like, whoa, where did all these people come from? This used to be such a peaceful system. Well, now Angel Rose is back. And she brought her friends with her. So, 
Please don't explode me. I'm going to play you a little video now whilst you all get your screenshot taken and I'm going to turn off my microphone because otherwise you'll get a horrible feedback thing. But um, this was pretty much the only thing that could be played at a moment like this. Than a Tesco Express Close to Windsor but the profit is less Keeps the businesses of Britain great It's got Europe's biggest trading estate It doesn't matter where you're from You wanna work, then come along The station's just got a new floor And the motorway runs by your door you know just where you're heading It's equidistant between London and Reading Oh, Slough My kind of town, I don't know You've got Tableau and Bray You've got Hillingdon the other way It's a brilliant place to live and work It was in Bucks, now officially it's Burks Don't believe what the critics say Like it's soulless and boring and grey See for yourself what you're waiting for We're on the Bath Road, that's the A4 you know just where you're heading It's equidistant between London and Reading Oh, Slough My kind of town, I don't know I don't know how Anyone could put you down <laughs> ah, it's all fluffy. I realised I left my microphone on for the first half of that, so I hope uh, it didn't cause you too much of a feedback loop. Um, so here we are. We're in snow. I'm so look at that. I, well, you, mm, I guess you probably can see it. That is very, 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 very exciting. 
we are in flower so hello <laughs> who's that who's that cheeky monkey and back up a bit so i can target him yeah yeah commander godzilla steve there you go and commander quish stormbringer so have you all been going in and getting your your screenshots taken by commander delorean commander webersan commander dread commander andy k ah potty so where's potty potty's got a delivery for me ah my cargo hold is full potty come on well i'll tell you what i'll do Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to dock and I'm just going to offload this brandy because there's an awful lot of people flying around me. So I'm going to dock for the first time in Slough Orbital right now. Oh yes, I am. I wonder if they'll recognise my voice. <clears throat> Hang on. <clears throat> oh, I'm more nervous. What if I say the wrong thing? What if I ask for the wrong thing? What if I do the wrong thing? Oh, I'm Angel Rose, I'm bound to. Docking request granted. He didn't deny me. That's a good start. Right. Commanders, I'm going to weave my way through you. I'm going to dock. I'm going to play you a very quick video for special, of special effects work uh, so that I can just have a quick break and go to the bathroom, actually, because there's been too much excitement. And then what I will do after that is I will come out, Commander Potty, I'll come out when I've got some room in my hold. Is that somebody trying to blow me up? Commander Godzilla Steve. So I will um, then. Um, let's just do this properly the first time going in. I've got to make a good impression. Um, I'll come outside and we'll do that then. And then we'll do some fly arounds, the ring. It's all and it's all fluffy. Oh, somebody's blown up inside the. Uh, look at all those open bays though. There's like loads of people here. <laughs> they all came with me. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad, I bought some friends. We're going to have a party. Is that all right? It's Empire Day. It's Empire. He's put me at the back. Cheeky bugger. He's put me all the way at the back. Oh, no, he hasn't. Is that not me? Oh, that was me. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> oh, no, I don't really want to do plane shift drive inside my own station. I think I missed my parking spot because the lights went out. There it is. No, get off. <laughs> Somebody's trying to explode me before I manage to sell my brandy, right? That's me. Back up now. I think that was us. I'm doing this terribly badly. <laughs> oh, what a bad impression to make on your first day back at home. That's not me either. What? Where's my where's my bay? Am I completely messed up here? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing such a phenomenally bad of landing in my own blooming station. There it is. It was that one. Or maybe it was that one. That's right. It's fine. Let's just. I'll edit that bit out, right? So let's just pretend I've just come in. I've just flown down. I've just gone. Whoo! Right? Okay. Just fix that in your minds. Ooh. I'm home. Hey, Mum. I'm home. Got the beers ready. <laughs> the, my parking space is bugged. I can't believe it. My parking space is definitely bugged. Right. I'm going out. I'm going to get permission again. Landing what on earth is going to probably do many of us? That's why. I don't know really what is going on. I hope nobody is about to come in. <laughs> right. Get outside. Cancel that. Oh, wait. <laughs> Request docking again. Now let's see if we've got it. the space is fixed. I guess somebody had just come out or gone in or something was going on. Something weird was occurring. 
Have you all had your screenshots taken? Commander DeLorean. Oops. Somebody. Right. Only pad 13. Where is that? Here it is. Flaps. <laughs> My dad hasn't banned me, has he? I think my father hasn't banned me from this station. Ah, there you go. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. And we are home. I'm going to enter the hangar so that somebody else can land. Um, brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I know some of you haven't made it into the same instance, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but what we'll do now, we've got still, we've got 45 minutes. So what we might do is we might go to the next space station, just have a look at that, see what there is to do. Um, and hopefully um, when we jump in and out of hyperspace in, in the same place, then maybe you'll get a chance to zone in then. So just make sure you're quick off the mark. I think we've probably filled the spaces, haven't we? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my camera and a uh, microphone this time I will remember so you don't get a feedback loop um, I hope it wasn't too unbearable and then I will play you a quick video um, of special effects uh, it's basically it's a um, it's sort of an introduction about what they are um, and it's about two minutes long I think so I'll play you that I will go and have a quick wee <laughs> just calm myself down for a wee moment literally and I will come back to you after that and we'll decide what we're going to do next I can't believe we're home. I'm Mick Donegan. I'm the founder of the Charity Special Effect. We're a UK-based charity helping people of any age, of any disability, to enjoy themselves and to express themselves through cutting edge games technology. Many of the young people we help can't run around and play in ways that the rest of us take for granted. With our help though, video games can offer a great way for them to have fun and join in with their friends and family. Reese and his dad love football. Our assessment team managed to find a perfect way for them to play together on FIFA soccer quite literally putting them on a level playing field. Everyone we see has different needs. Charlotte's a four-year-old girl who lost all four limbs due to meningitis. The Wii controller was just too heavy, so our technical team modified it so that it was just one third of its original weight. Special effects made me a control company to play PlayStation, which I never thought I'd do. I couldn't use a normal controller because couldn't reach any of the buttons. Some people find it very difficult to control any part of their body apart from their eye movement. Tiago, for example, is able to play Peggle just by moving his eyes. But the demand for our help is growing all the time. To help more disabled people get as much out of games and leisure technology as you do, please visit our website. looked over there in chat while that's playing and Barry has just said our total for day for today is one thousand three hundred and seventy pounds and seventy one pence and since I read that I've heard two more it's all fluffies coming through so that is just amazing people really really just unbelievable I can't thank you enough for your generosity and support um, of this brilliant charity so thank you I'm filling up. Tell you what, the first thing we've got to do is I promised you champagne, right? So it was cheap prosecco. <laughs> Welcome home. Cheers, everybody. Well done, us. 
What a phenomenal, phenomenal result. For special effect, just means so much, really. That money will go such a long way for them. They're a small charity. They're based out of Cambridge, local to Frontier, and they're not a big corporate machine of a charity. That money will already make a huge difference to everybody. Um, so thank you so, so much. Mm. Right. Apparently I've got a leathery egg to pick up. <laughs> let's first of all get into Starport Services. Oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's it. Right, oh, refuel. Definitely refuel. Right, Vespa M4 traffic report. <laughs> Uh-oh. 296 ships passed through Vespa M4 space in the last 24 hours. 107 Cobras, 23 Adders, Eagles, Vipers, Hoarders, Imperial Clippers. What are they doing here? Please fly carefully. See? <laughs> He's talking to you lot. Um, I wonder what that will say tomorrow. <laughs> say a big crew of really rowdy people turned up. Um, the rest of it is galactic news, so uh, we only, we're only interested. Oh, Vesper M4 commodity market update. Best sellers, coffee. That does not surprise me. Right, let's go into the bulletin board first and just see. Caught in a moment. Hmm? Ah, oh, black box mission. We wanted to do one of those at some point, but not today. Let's see. No, we didn't bring any Colton. Do you want any beer? Beer or wine? Beer or wine, people? Ah, frustrated employees. No, we've only got beer and wine. Well, that's your tough luck because we're going to go on to the commodities market now. See how much our Lavian brandy is worth. They don't have any demand for it whatsoever. But, oh, that Chateau de Agion was a good... More donations. That Chateau de Agion was a good pickup, wasn't it? Right. Let's just put all of this in the mini bar for later on. Yes. Five, six, seven, eight Lamian brandies. Profit seventy two thousand. <laughs> Listy and evil juice. Profit seventy five thousand. And finally, beer. I'm still going to be excited about this. Ah, 435 credits. <clears throat> Sorry. Calm down, Kate. <laughs> and my wine. 760 credits. So we've got a cool 376,000 credits in our bank. Brilliant. Okay, I'm not going to put any. <laughs> I'm not going to put anything in my hold because there is. Every chance I'm going to get blown up now. Oh, let's just get those sons sold. Look at that. I don't think I collected any sons today. I must have just been hanging around them long enough to. Uh... Oh, I made some more money as well. This was a awesome trip in every respect. Right. Let's get outside and let's do some stuff. Um, right, okay. So, XX List Me Chloe is asking, how do you know what to buy and sell? Well, really quickly, I'll show you in Starport Services. Uh, for those of you who are relatively new to the game, if you go to the commodities market, there are the, so basically, these guys want this, the demand column, if they've got a high demand for something, then they'll be paying a good price against the galactic average price. So, if, and if they've got a low, um, if, they, if they've got a high um, sale of something, so they've got high supply, this is what they're selling, things that are in high supply have a, um, have a, the best buy price, the lowest buy price. So ideally you want to buy from obviously people with a high supply and sell to people with a high demand. And if you want to do a trade route within the area, you can click on the galactic average and you can change it to, these are all systems that this, these guys trade with regularly. So you can say, okay, what are they, what are they buying in Balatu? And then you have a look, they're buying nothing in Balatu. They're not buying and selling anything. Let's try Salinas. Right, so it's Salinas, we export clothing to Salinas and we, uh, we import algae, anime, animal meat, coffee, fish, etc. So that's basically what you can do there and that will allow you to make the best 
uh, trade deals if you're just doing trades also the good thing to do is to look on the bulletin board and just see if there are any trade um, so this for example they want someone to send um, they want us to take um, some scrap metal three scrap metal to this place so you know you can choose to do that and then fill up your hold with other stuff that that is the right place the right for that and there are other tips as well but if you if you watch back actually we've, we've been covering quite a lot of this over the last 10 days and I've got a YouTube channel so you can watch back and and see more tips from that or sign up to the forum Barry's bot will tell you what that is if you type in exclamation mark forum into the chat and um, we're gonna do more stuff we're gonna carry on we're gonna figure out we've got some great people more donations more donations um, so we've got a really good mix of people in this channel some people have really you know been playing for a long time and know an awful lot and some people are like me relative beginners and some people are complete beginners and so um, what's that? oh it's a, I thought it's a ship it's a very small ship now, isn't it? Um, you are coming in through the wrong entrance I'm gonna have to police this has commander no uh, uh, anyway, um, who's getting shot at? <laughs> I hope it's none of my friends. Don't any of you get shot at. Don't upset my uh, dad's forces. Um, yeah, so we're going to do, look at that, screenshot. Screenshot. You guys, thank you so much for coming with me all this way and raising so much money. There's already been more people, 335 people in the channel at the moment. And somebody said earlier that we're the number one um, streamer on Twitch right now, but I'm guessing that's probably number one elite dangerous streamer rather than number one streamer outright. Um, mangy dog, what are you doing in my airspace, young man? Anyway, right, here's the thing I challenge you. You know, you've been challenging me. Well, it's payback time. Go and empty holds, people, because you're going to be busy. Right. See me here, I have now framed up on Slough Orbital Station and I am just going to sit here and I am going to stream and chat to you and eat sausage rolls and stuff. What I want you to do is do a conga, go nice and slowly, just keep, oh, okay, potty, I need to follow potty one second quickly. Hang on, potty, I'm just finding you. I need to find you because there's too many people around. Potty man is there. No. Hang on. Where was Potty man? Hang on. Commander Potty. Right. Commander Potty targeted you. You should show up now. Should you show up on, as being the person that I've targeted? I'm trying to find you, Potty. There's too many people around. Come up real close to the front of me. Is that Commander Potty? Commander Potty's behind me. Is that you? No, that's Millstone Barn. Maybe it's that though. Liquor. People are dropping liquor in my airspace. Ah, there you are, Commander Potty. Okay, I've got you. I have to get my scoop out, I think, for this. He's got, a, he's got a leathery egg for me. Oh, where's he gone? There he is. Um, I have no idea what a leathery egg is or what it does. Or even if I want it on my hold. But I'm going to scoop it. Oh, I've still got my landing gear out, that's why. Landing gear retracted. Landing gear retracted. Flaps. <laughs> Let's see. So get ready though, guys. What we're going to do. <laughs> DeLorean. It's DeLorean crashing. Where are you taking me, Potty? Taking an awfully long time to get to you. Are you travelling away from me? I guess you want a bit of space so that we don't get caught up in a cluster. Right. Oh, one of my cats just came and stroked my legs. 
Why are you going away from me, Potty? Potty, why are you going away from me? It's all sunny. More donations. So, guys, get yourselves ready. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm scooping I've got my cargo scoop out I've got to keep it on target not go too fast it's moving oh missed it <gasps> it's moving a bit fast where is it did I destroy it No, it should be there. It's a big knife with no fly zone, isn't it? Where is my... Where's my leathery eggs gone? Can't see them. Or maybe it's there. Hang on. Got to go for those grey things, haven't I? There we are. Right, hopefully it's not moving as fast this time. So get ready for your conga, guys. Get back to the um, get back to the entrance of Slough Orbital. And that might be leathery eggs as well. There, is it? into it. I have no idea what leather eggs are. I'll have a look in a minute. Let's just see if we can get this last. Oh, there it is. There they are. These leathery eggs cleared up because we don't want them clogging up slough airspace, do we? And we'll have a look, see what that is. Let's back up a bit. And then we'll go and do this, um, get you guys to all do your conga around the inside and I shall film it. It's half past eight. And then maybe what we'll do next is we'll head to the next space station, see what's there, and then we should probably, let's have a look, what have we got? We've got three leathery eggs. So if anyone fancies a snack that isn't sausage roll based, mmm, Michael Stoll, they're a rare trade item. Thank you so much. Gave me eggs for arriving safely back in Slough. Hmm. Interesting choice of present. But I appreciate it very much. Hmm. Tell them here, read the description. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right, let's head back. Alright, here. <laughs> Tears come. What's the matter? Are you jealous? Now is not a good time. Well, you know, to be honest, it's a party. Everyone's welcome. Everyone is welcome. Even my cat. Hello. I don't know if you can see her or not. Right, let's have you doing a conga ring around the inside. I'm going to, um, all right. What's the matter? I don't know what's wrong with her. She's looking at me strangely. She think, mm, let's put my scoop away and then I will fly faster. Tia, yeah, that's not massively convenient. You're standing in front of the screen like that. <gasps> Look, it's got red rings around it. That's nice, isn't it? 
Right. They are alien eggs face huggers, says Paris. I hope they're not going to kill me. They're not going to hug my face, are they? Who's getting short? Mangy dog, you see? I knew he was trouble. Didn't I say? He's going to blow up. Oh. <laughs> Let's screenshot him blowing up. Mangy dog, your time is up. What's he doing attacking my space station? Naughty boy. And look at you all. Doing your fly by. Let's get a little closer. Brilliant work on the orbital ring fly around. Who have we got doing that? Commander Potty, Commander Webersan. Commander Jack of Blood, Chris Stormbringer. Can you all get in there? Commander Shinerai. <laughs> He's going to end in tears. Oh, somebody just came up on me. Oh, system authority vessel. We don't care. My dad owns this place. He even leave us alone. Mangy Doc still, still causing problems. There goes Potty. <laughs> Oh, there goes some. Somebody was trying to get. Somebody was definitely trying to bash me. Then who was that? Commander Godzilla Steve has been boosting past me all night. I'm fairly convinced he's trying to blow me up. I've got nothing in my hold that you can destroy now. So <laughs> to you. <laughs> oh, you know what I forgot? <laughs> Yay! I got rid of the cat, didn't it? In fact. Got five of these. Shall I do? I'll do two. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they smell really good, don't they? They smell incredible. I like. You need one of these as well, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Yay! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, the alien face huggers. Mm. Love the smell of this. Oh. Look at you all! Oh my gosh! Look at you all! Commander Festival first. Commander Bicky. Commander Millstone Barn. Commander Shanerai. Commander Rusted Woods. Commander Wilkie. Commander Zephyr. Six eight six six eight. Brilliant. Look, and somebody's about to get blown up now. Who's that? Not one of us. I think it's an NPC. I don't know who he is. Who are you? It's a mangy dog still. <laughs> somebody's still trying to blow me up. I don't care. You can blow me up if you want. I'm happy. I'm in slough now. I got 300 and something thousand credits. You could blow me up a hundred times and it wouldn't even dent me. Commander Shinero. Oh, <laughs> Strange things. <laughs> Attacking me. <laughs> oh, thank you for doing that. Look at you. Rusty words. Wilkie. Mmm. That's brilliant. Right, now I'm going to come in as well. Ready? Are you ready? Coming in. Coming in. I am coming in. Is there room for me? <laughs> I'm going to have to speed up. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to cause a massive... <laughs> I'm going to cause a massive crash. <laughs> okay, that was a fail. <laughs> oh! Major dog. Major dog is... Major dog is dead. Yes! Mangy dog is a dead dog. Dead dog, so he is. <laughs> oh, somebody's chaffing in my face again. Godzilla Steve is having fun doing blast pass. He's not trying to blow up. Read the description. There we are, now I'm part of it. Now I'm part of the, uh, part of the party. Is everyone filming this? Oh, uh oh, somebody just rammed me. <laughs> oh, 
Some more stuff dropped over there. I'm just going to go and get that while you're all busy. Liquor! We're having that. Throw it! Got backups, guys! Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Back up, back up, back up. I'm gonna get this while they're busy. While they're all busy flying around. Bit of bash, but people are dropping stuff. What are people dropping? <laughs> Lots of. Well, I've got to spend ages cleaning up Slough airspace now, aren't I? Go for that one. More liquor for me. Take this at a more sedate angle just in case it's a uh, something delicate. Brilliant. More liquor. All right, we'll just get this one bit of liquor. Oh, it's a bit fast. Dr. J, in in Dr. J's instance, my live radio friends have waste bombed the station. <laughs> Dr. J, will you take a screenshot and post it for me? Will you spend? <laughs> Look at how many people there are. This is just brilliant, you guys. You've made my Christmas. I have to tell you. Mm. Not least for the amount of money that you've raised for special effect. Let's have a quick chat to you. Let's see what's going on. No, no Maloney saying the landing pad at Slayer won't take him, and then he was denied, and then then the station shot him down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, what else is going on? <laughs> Just lost shields and fifty percent hull. Not safe. Uh, oh, Commander. Nuzild says there's only two in your instance with Cleomus. Well, I'll tell you what, let's really quickly, where are we now? It's 20 to 9. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's go to the next uh, space station in this um, star system and um, let's see, <laughs> let's see if zoning doesn't give some other people a chance to, to be in the same instance and then we'll come back here for the end of the night. So we'll just literally go run there and just see what's going on. Oh, cargo. And also, incidentally, too far away, too too close. So let's let's go there. We'll have a quick look to see what kind of. We're not going to park or anything. We're just going to see what kind of station it is. And then we'll come back here and we'll see. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a shame. Those of you, some of you haven't made it into the channel this time around. But you know what? We're going to do this again. And um, we're gonna do it lots. <laughs> we're gonna make. We're gonna have. A, we're gonna have lots of fun and cause lots of troubles. And what we'll do next time, um, when we inhibited by a factor of twelve people following me too closely, um, join in that forum. Uh, exclamation mark forum and Barry's bot will give you the address. It's all fluffy. It's all fluffy. Don't forget the selling part. Uh, for the for the. Um, for those eggs do I need to sell them okay so that's what we'll do we'll nip over to Rothfuss Holdings uh, Ridley Walker Slough just bought my 10 snails for 180,000 wow we'll nip over to Rothfuss, Hol Rothfuss that place whatever it is we'll go there we will just have a look see what a kind of station it is and then we'll jump back I'll go and dock, I'll sell those leathery eggs and um, we'll do the giveaways. We've got 20 giveaways to do today and so the deal is um, they're to say thank you. <laughs> Shanerai, watch out for the new roundabout on the way to the Three, new station. Two, one, Commander Zilla is asking for permission to fly by. Of course, you always have permission to fly by. As long as I don't have anything too valuable in my hold, you can bar barge into me as well, I don't care. It's only a ship, right? It's insured. Get another one. No problem. Mm. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to attempt to do this giveaway um, speaking to you at the same time. Um, although, just make sure... Dr. J has uh, 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 done a screenshot of the Lave Radio bio-waste bombing. <laughs> He's going to post it to Twitter later, so I'll have a look at that. 
Oh, it's a shame we didn't make it into the same instance as yours. But you've got an awful lot of algae to clear up back at. <laughs> I should have known, really, because the Lave Radio crew, they're all, like, they've got massive hauling ships with just, like, millions of... Of, of, of space in their cargo and when I looked on the market and saw that there was no bio waste available I'm like hmm <laughs> possible it's entirely possible well done you well done you and thank you Dr. J for uh, for screenshotting that sharing that with me um, so what we will do now when we get back to, to Slough and I'll park up now you have the money, we should get you the iron ass, somebody's saying. I don't know what they are. <laughs> iron ass? Um, so I'm going to attempt to do the giveaway, um, speaking to you at the same time. But just bear in mind that when it comes to actually rolling, the timing for rolling, it's the text that counts. I'm going to carry on talking to you. I'm going to thank the people who've been generous in donations of the gifts that we've been giving away throughout this 14 days. But in terms of winning the gift and rolling on the gift, you need to pay attention to chat the text chat because that is where it will happen and when I um, when I put my serious voice on caps locks what we'll do is um, I will then post each item one by one saying if you are interested in this roll now or show your interest now and the way you show your interest is by typing three hashtags in a row um, just three hashtags nothing else and um, it's a software driven uh, rolling system so if you don't get the exact thing you know if it's three ampersands instead of three hashtags no good the computer will say no computer says no so um you show your interest by putting three hashtags in only one prize per person per night please um if you've won a prize previously on a previous night you're perfectly welcome to win another one tonight we've got 20 or so prizes to give away today including my hot ass and oh i might have shot that a little bit maybe i can jump out real quick yeah and um and then I will say closing in 10, closed, and when I say closed I roll and then I will post the name of the person who has um, been lucky to win that roll and, um, and then I will do the next one. And if you are lucky enough to win then please send me a Twitch message with either your email address if it's an electronic prize like an audio book or a PDF and if it's a physical prize then you'll need to send me your postal address or an address where I can post the item to or whoever has given it and then what I'll do is next week now that this madness is over that's an interesting space station isn't it look at that not actually seen one like that before how does that work then where are the platforms how curious there's a lot to explore in Slough I mean it's a platform one but it's not the same shape as the usual platform ones is it Let's see what's up there um, yeah so send me a message with the information I need, and I will next week I will send all of those off to um, take a screenshot of that to the people who are uh, have been generous enough to donate the gifts and will be fulfilling the delivery of them. And then in the next week or two, you should um, get um, something. Um, you know, we will get it as soon as possible, basically. Right. Let's head back to Slough. See who's here. Right, <laughs> I'm getting flown by again. We've arrived en masse again. Commander Nihilus, Commander Pot, Commander Huin, Commander Timaru, Commander Vilki, Wilki, Vilki. Um, yeah, and if you don't manage to get in touch with me, then I am recording everybody. Commander Jack of Blood. I'm recording everybody. Nihilus, there you go. I'm recording everybody who has won in a spreadsheet and I will get in touch with you as well. Philip Warren is there. Excellent. So a few more of you at least. Now, Maniki Burdog. <laughs> so where are we at? Yeah, we've got a lot of giveaways tonight. So let's head back and let's do that. We'll, 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 we'll gather back. Well, I will go and hide inside now, Orbital. And I'm going to get there quickly before you know I'm going so that I can grab a parking spot. And, um... Oh, I'm mass locked. Oof, typical. Bloody typical. Um... And we'll do the giveaways. And then that'll be it. That'll be Slough Bells ringing. And you guys have just done... Crash is off to do his... Uh, get ready for his um, stream, I guess. 
<laughs> Play P landed on the station sensor mast. That's right. When the first time Angel Rose um, docks in the at the beginning of the book, she uh, the she tears a data band aerial out of the uh, Four, entrance three, as well. Two, one, engage. Right, mug one puckers, wrong instance. There's so many people, so many people. Unfortunately, um, presumably too many <laughs> to all go in the same instance, which is brilliant. It's a wonderful. Ah, oh, thunderstorm. Hearts from thunderstorm. Hearts back at you. Purple hearts back at you, thunderstorm. Um. Yes. What's going on then? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Today's total, Barry's bot informs me, is £1,596.96. And pence. <laughs> There's another one. It's all fluffy! That's just phenomenal, people. Seriously. Can't even begin to thank you enough. Um, it's absolutely been the best Christmas and the best start of a year for me. <laughs> hey! So I'm going to go park up at Slough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play you a very quick video. It's like one and a half minutes long from um, from Special Effects, which is a thank you video that they made, and I think it's very appropriate to play it right now. And then what we'll do is I'll turn the camera back on, and we'll we'll do the giveaways. We'll attempt to do them live. As I say, ignore what I say here. Just pay attention at that point to the text over there because that's what really counts. And I'm going to roll for all of these gifts. Um, it's been a fluffy, fluffy time. Mm. Yeah, so, do you know what? While we're travelling, it's not good. Can she get out? 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 No, she can't. <laughs> well, that had to happen one more time, didn't it? One more time, overshoot. Uh oh, slow. My kind of town. Everybody. I don't know how anybody could put you down. Oh, slow. My kind of town. Okay, twice more. <gasps> oh, Slough. Get off my picture of Slough, unidentified signal source. My kind of town, I don't know how anybody could put you down. Oh, Ricky Gervais, please, please give me permission to use that retrospectively. Don't hit me with this. Oh, okay. Don't hit me with the sensor hammer. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, hello. Slough. It's coming to hug me. It's all fluffy. It's all fluffy. Can't believe how much money we've raised. It's just amazing. So the first thing on the giveaways tonight is lunch at the BBC with me and here's the deal with lunch at the BBC with me you have to get yourself to New Broadcasting House in London. I'm not <laughs> not paying for your tickets from Australia or wherever you happen to be. Um, so if you if you can't get to the BBC um, Broadcasting House which is very close to Oxford Circus Tube Station in London if you can't get there under your own steam please don't roll for it because um, all you will do is prevent somebody else from doing it. Um, and um, Hello. Amazing total Jean Bellow saying, Happy ho homecoming from Throcken. Can't wait to see the totals tonight from Philip Warren. Chinerai, Iron Ass was slang in the dark. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're right. So, um, yeah. So, did I already get locking permission? I don't want to get shot coming home to my own station. No. Um, so if you want to come and have lunch in the BBC canteen with me, it's not very exclusive or salubrious, um, but it is in the heart of the BBC new broadcasting house, and we'll walk down, you know, and see through the windows, through the windows to the newsroom, and then we'll head up to the click offices. You can meet my editor, 
um, who I make Webscape with and see if there's anyone else who's prepared to say hello to you in the BBC Click offices. <clears throat> it's not an official tour, it's you'll be there as my guest, so you have to behave yourself. <laughs> Um, and then the second thing I'm going to be giving away is my hot ass. Yeah, oh, here we go. Somebody, so, somebody caught me a clip there. Um, yeah, and that is my old, I had a, so I had a, a hot ass Thrustmaster T-Flight, which was the first joystick that I got. It's on me! And I used it for two weeks and um, then decided it wasn't, sturdy enough for my gameplay style as you may have noticed so literally it's been used for two weeks and I've signed it as well because people yesterday said you should sign it so that's what we'll do um, those will be the first two things and um, we've got a bunch of other stuff as well it's so exciting I can't wait to reward you for your generous donations and work but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just turn off my microphone webcam get myself organized over there with the right things open and the software running and then um, uh, play you a quick video whilst um, I do that um, to say thank you from Special Effect and then we shall roll for these giveaways. See you in a moment. Eyebrow switches were recently installed for Alex by a company called Special Effect. stuff everywhere it's all fluffy right I'm gonna turn this around and see if I can't maybe so when I'm typing over there you see me there yeah okay this is gonna work this is going to work <coughs> right people now bear in mind I'm gonna start talking now so the first thing more donations coming in first thing that we're going to be um, rolling on is lunch in the BBC with me and um, I'm just going to um, say to you over here Okay, serious voice on, right? Okay, serious voice on. <clears throat> You're just about getting that stream now. And the first thing we're rolling on is the um, lunch with me at the BBC. You have to get yourself to New Broadcasting, New Broadcasting House in London in order to um, participate in this. Barry is sending you the... Um, sending you the message now about uh, the disclaimer because it's not a Twitch thing, this is me only. And I'm posting this now. You should be getting that. So you are now going to show your interest. And, um, well, the person I need to thank for this gift is me. Because <laughs> I'm going to be buying you lunch. And you for getting there safely. And under your own steam. And we'll have lunch in the BBC canteen. And um, we'll meet my editor. And we will um, no doubt cause... There'll be no barging and scraping of holes outside the BBC that's for sure right closed and roll this is a bit laborious you're going to hear this a lot and the winner is Millstone Barn which you're going to see in a minute and Millstone Barn wins congratulations to Millstone Barn I look forward very much to meeting you at some point we'll communicate via email and figure out how that's going to work. So the next prize that is on offer, the giveaway, is my hot ass. So my hot ass basically is um, this. It's my old 
Thrustmaster T-Flight joystick. I used it for two weeks and then I bought myself a warthog. You can't have the warthog, sorry. Um, that's tax deductible. <laughs> so I'm going to put in here now the three hashtags and post that in there and you guys now will start showing your interest in winning that. Good luck for this one. This was about £35 when I bought it from um, eBay. So <laughs> fluff everywhere. Um, I'm going to need to hoover again, aren't I? Closing in 10. So very good luck. We've got 88, 90, 91, 92 people <laughs> who are interested in this. That's hilarious. Imagine the first day when I did it. The first day I was counting them up by hand, first couple of days, because I didn't know, didn't know, 111, 112, imagine if I was counting these by hand. How long exactly have you got? Right, close that, roll it. And Commander Nuzzled is the winner. Congratulations to Commander Nuzzled. And again, person to thank for that is me. And my need for a heavier joystick. <laughs> Um, okay, next up we've got a, a download of my audiobook, the Elite uh, Mostly Harmless audiobook. Produced, th but thank, the, thank for this, you can thank um, Dan, the publishing man, who is supplying it. And of course, it was produced you by. For donations! It was produced by Radio Theatre Workshop, Chris Jarvis, and the music was by um, Alan Stroud, as is the case with all of the audio books so I'm just sending that now to uh, to go and yes the Elite Archives are also currently donating 10% of pre-order sales of their book throughout December to um, and up till now I believe to this um, this little event so closing in 10 so the audio book Somebody is going to be getting the audiobook. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll. Closed roll. And Jean Bello wins. <laughs> Yay. The donator of my Lavian brandy, no less. And various other shenanigans interdicting with me at every opportunity. <laughs> So, well deserved, because Jean Bellow's been here, I think, pretty much every single night. Thank you very much for that. Right, next one on offer is the um, anthology short stories. Uh, again, this was donated very kindly by um, Dan at, at Fantastic Books Publishing, with the kind permission of the authors and um, the wonderful Chris Jarvis and Alan Stroud. And I've been playing you samples of these all week as well. So, uh, let's get you rolling on that and see who's going to be the winner. I can't believe what a good night we have had. We haven't actually achieved very much in terms of you know doing stuff. We just travelled, didn't we? Closing in. Don't Closing in ten. And let's see who's going to win this. Closed roll. Throcken wins. Another regular face. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And let's close that down. I'm putting you into my spreadsheets as well so that if you don't get in touch with me, then I can get in touch with you and then stalk you relentlessly. Right, we've got something from Frontier now. Frontier uh, gave us a copy of the game, which we gave away on Christmas Day, but they also gave us a bunch of t-shirts. Um, and so we're gonna roll now for the 30th anniversary t-shirt. Um, and you can tell me your size as well when you send me the information um, about um, where you want it to be sent. Then if you tell me the size that you would like me to request for them as well, then I can do that for you. And I'm going to post that now in the channel. Show interest in Elite Dangerous 30th Anniversary T-shirt. Um, hopefully this isn't too disjointed for you, sort of like hearing me here and seeing it there at completely different time zones. <laughs> but um, and hopefully I don't forget any part of the process. I almost did closed before I did um, closing in 10. 
on the last roll. 116 people rolling on that. And closing in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, cheers, 3, <laughs> 1, that was a bad idea. Roll. And Nyctosco is the winner of that one. And wins. We've got quite a lot of these to do tonight. I'm going to start motoring through them now. Okay, next up we've got Elite Dangerous Goodie Bag. This is again another another one of the gifts from Elite. It's this is a goodie bag. Me. More donations coming in. This is a goodie bag that is, um, you know, got key rings, mug. Um, he just said, you know, all the little, all the little bits and pieces um, that you can pick up on the um, merchandise store. They um, will shove a bunch of those into a little goodie bag for you and send that off to you. So I'm going to post that now. And you are now voting, or well not voting, or putting your interest in, showing your three hashtags to see whether or not you get the wonderful goodie bag. Over 100 people already rolling. 114, 16, 18, 20. So it's such a good job. I don't have to do this by eye anymore. Closing A10, you know what that kind of means. Yeah, you know what I mean by that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 142 people rolled on that one. And Dalla O, the maker of my jingle, is the lucky winner. Dalla O, congratulations to you. Again, another regular face here. And he put in some personal time making that uh, jingle so that you didn't have to suffer <laughs> my dreadful jingle the first couple of days. Hmm. Um, so thank you for that. Um, so these again, these are from um, the uh, Sellerson who's in channel tonight, I believe, and has been chatting to you. He is the maker of the RPG game, and he is a wonderful person. And this is a co personalised copy of the RPG game. Um, we're going to send that in. And um, <laughs> I think just and no people don't even know what's being rolled on at the moment because it's going so fast. It's just like oh right okay. I'm just get, there are three hashtags going in. Just go if you see three hashtags, just roll. Closing in ten. It's going very fast. Eighty three, ninety three, eighty four, and let's see, let's see what we've got now. Closed. Eight five three one whatever. Jonesy O oh, is the winner of that one. Jonesy O oh, is the winner of that one. And Sellerson apparently has also made it into the right instance with this, finally. <laughs> it's been hard, hasn't it? I'm sorry for those of you who haven't been able to get in. This is a PDF copy of the Elite Archives book. And this is the um, wonderful book that um, uh, Anthony Olver is making. Um, which is the sort of we, we um, crowdfunded it recently, and it is this sort of complete history of Elite with loads of pictures and images and signed things and memorabilia and really, Anthony Olver is seriously he's like the biggest Elite geek in the world and he's got this huge collection. You should see a picture of his sort of collection of Elite related um, shenanigans and my book is on there too, which gave me a proud moment when I saw that. And he's very generously uh, donated something more than one thing, things for every single night. So we're going to roll on that now, and oh, did I not copy it? I didn't copy it. <laughs> Helps if you copy it, Kate, when you're meant to. Let's put that in there now. And people are just throwing their hashtags in there. <laughs> You've got no chance really of seeing what it is, have you? Closing in 10. I don't blame you, just roll away people, roll away, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, well, a hundred and something of people. Close, right, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and two woozy, another regular face here, two woozy wins the Elite Archives book. Okay, now we've got a collection of short stories, this is from Dan the Publishing Man. Um, it's a uh, short fiction, a science fi fiction stories, fully illustrated and signed by the artist Alice 
Taylor. So that's going to go down into the that's going to go down into the roll channel now and in my hashtag keywords as soon as that registers then I can post the item be bored of watching me do this yet back side of my head um, okay so print fusion by Alice Taylor is that more donations coming in mmm it's just brilliant seriously this is very typical of the elite dangerous community though I have found you guys are a very generous lot. Six, five, it's inspiring. Four, three, two, one. Um, Phil Hibbs is saying, how about repeating the thing that is in the the um, message? But um, it's a bit um, <laughs> late for that now. <laughs> I've got all these ready to cut and paste. If I'm have to do typing now, and we're, to be fair, we're all in trouble. I've got to type anything new now. With everything that's going off, everything's going fluffy, and now we've got a signed A3 concept art poster from the Elite Archives book. So this is another very special, um, exclusive gift that we're going to be um, sending out um, by Anthony Olver, um, who is the creator of that. And they are also giving us 10% of all of their pre-order sales throughout this broadcast period. So incredible generosity from Anthony and thank you so much um, for that. To everybody, to everybody who's rolling and is there and it's crashing into each other and trying to get into the same instance. We'll figure out a good way to do that. We'll make some groups, we'll figure I don't know how many people we can get into the same instance. Closing in 10, maybe somebody can tell me that at some point. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Closed. Roll. Oh. Roll. <laughs> Elite Phoenix is the winner of that one. I just need to, I've got a, having a cut and paste malfunction. <laughs> Okay, copy, paste. Okay, black and white A4 print featuring one of the um, pieces of art that were part of the um, uh, the um, anthology collection. So those of you who've been listening to along to my um, broadcast will have heard samples of the anthology. And when I've left the um, player playing, you'll see those black and white art prints are really good, um, perfect for the series. And in an act of complete synchronicity, um, Arto was simply somebody who bid to um, to do the artwork for it. And honestly, it couldn't have been a better person to do that um, because they really are absolutely... Did I forget to post something? You can tell me later. I've been pasting them down. I've definitely got copies of them. Maybe somebody, after we finish this craziness that is the uh, is the rolling. After we finish that, then I will. <laughs> and three, two, one, go. I'll see who is missing, who didn't, who I didn't say. But I've definitely, yeah, I've definitely pasted down all the winners so if you um, if I miss something do let me know it's very possible it's all going a little bit fast over there not seeing winners names ah ok right hang on so just going to do this. Nutsets wins the A4 print. What else did I miss? Oh, 
Oh. See, this is what happens when I try and talk and operate this at the same time. Yeah, the video is probably lagging, isn't it? So just look at the chat. Ignore the video anyway because the video is 40 seconds, 42 seconds behind the chat. But don't worry, I have got all the names of everybody. So this is the postcards from Elite Archives collection. Um, again, donated by the Elite die. Archives people. Emails coming in. Are they more donations? Okay, closing in 10. Closed. Five, four, three, two, one, roll. Milko wins. Milko wins. Put that in my spreadsheet. We're almost there. We've just got a few more items to do. We've got the now, the Elite Anthology, sorry, high quality A4 black and white art prints from the Tales from the Frontier Anthology. So then after this, we got a copy of the RPG book and then we've got three dice and three thank you prints. And hash, hash, hash. Show interest in that now. Chat, <laughs> chat amongst yourselves. Throw those hashtags into the ring. Closing in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll Bicky73 is the winner. that in my spreadsheet okay almost there people it's, all fluffy. it's definitely all fluffy so this is limited edition concept art print postcard of the elite encounters RPG cover art that again is coming from the wonderful Sellerson who uh, not Sellerson sorry Yes, Sullivan, Elite Encounters, the RPG. And if you um, want to know more about that, then I believe one Vigor does a stream of it um, quite a lot. And Sullivan will be more than happy to answer your questions. Closing in 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, roll. Manic Cyberdog, saw him on our flyby. And just copy that. This blooming thing. Sometimes the mouse is a little bit sketchy. I close that down. You see what, what happened is I opened up Manic Cyberdog's profile loads of times, which is preventing my computer from doing anything else for the time being. Manic Cyberdog wins. Right, we've just got three art, uh, three dice, and three um, thank you notes or thank you posters. So what's going to go in there now is the um, first of the dice. And these are these things. Hang on, let me just get that posted so you can see. It's all fluffy. This is what these are. Mostly harmless dice. So it's got normal dice on most sides and, front it and, and fantastic books have put the logo there and then the mostly harmless on that side so you know it's up to you to figure out what numbers those are supposed to be um, but that's what's going in there now we've got three of those to give away 
and um, you just need to send me a postal address and I will be able to get them to you. We're not making any more of these and that's, that's how many are left so if you get one of these you are quite lucky if you're a collector of all things Elite 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, it's definitely all fluffy. 3, 2, 1, control, roll. Massiel, 1666 is the winner. Pop that in there. Close that down. And we'll do the next now of those. Almost there, people. You've done phenomenally well. Mostly harmless side, sellers and said mostly harmless side is the six. So there you go. Of course, what else would it be? The second of those going in there now. And we will roll on that. Ten more, yeah, give you a chance. Give you a chance. <laughs> give me a chance. I know that the people at Special Effect are going to be so blown away by your support. Just the sheer number of you who were in here participating, closing in 10. You know, it's a massive boost for them. And I know that a few, quite a few people have told me that they, they weren't even aware of um, Special Effect until now. That's about 10. So um, it's just, ah, oh, P. Warren. There he is. P. Warren is the winner. And I've done it again. I've opened his profile three times instead of copying and pasting him. Arr. I really need a new mouse on this blooming machine. Ah, oh, can I do that? Oh, I can, or P1. It's not what I want to do though, because I want to cut and paste you into my... Oh, do you know what, I'm just going to write it. I can spell that one. P1. <laughs> one, two, one. Too much. Too much for me. Right, close that. Sorry about this. Human error involved. Right, next one. This is the last of the three dice now coming up. And um, I hope if you want it, you get it. My cat's over. Can you see my cat? I don't know if you can. All right, Tia. She's very confused because there's been things exploding <laughs> in my office. My party poppers and such like. Right, rolling on that. This is the last of those dice. And um, when they're gone, they are gone. Oh, I lost my cat's lock. Closing in 10. Uh, imagine how long this would have taken if we were doing it by eye. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So soon it'll be no dice, Griffin Slayer says. Absolutely. It's precisely what it will be. No dice. Right, now we've got the first of my thank you posters. A4 posters. And what these are, I'll show you. I had these made for my um, upper level, one of my upper level Kickstarter backers. Um, they paid, um, I think it was like £55, and I sent them this, these exclusive numbered artwork collections. And as you can see down there, they are signed and they are numbered out of 42. So we've got three of these to give away now. And I am going to put that safely there, avoiding my sausage rolls. I'm going to post that for you now and there. And see how many people are interested in that and the rates are coming in quite quickly so just three more things this one two more to go and then I will come over there and say a proper thank you and good night to you because you have just done such an amazing job six Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Millstone Barnes. Thank goodness I won first. I couldn't. I can't cope with this. Um, C W Craft is the winner there. 
and that I'll post that in there penultimate giveaway another thank you note from me numbered limited print run it's even got the cover design that I rejected on there because it was too pretty <laughs> what? Angel Rose wouldn't have a pretty cover on her book she's far too foul mouthed and bad tempered for that so this is the penultimate one one more after this once my machine has woken up hello software Bing. it is a very very busy chat channel indeed <laughs> oh okay uh, it's thinking it's thinking it's thinking right okay go roll on that you babies my little beauties we have one more and then you can all go and watch Crash play proper elite as opposed to me closing in 10 just really messing around really aren't we but I think we're getting better 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 rolling Geffers is the winner of that one pop that in my spreadsheet and the last one the last thank you note from me to all my wonderful wonderful participants during this amazing 14 day period we are definitely going to meet in the void again and we're gonna do some stuff is what we're gonna do we are gonna do some stuff lots of people going in for the role it's the last one of the night it's the last one of the series it is the last one when we continue doing um twitch streams by the way there's not going to be giveaways every night just putting that out there you bankrupt me I've only got one spare hot ass i'm afraid closing in 10 10 9 8 Seven. It's like New Year's Eve again. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Sir Potsworth is the winner. Pop that in there. Sir Potsworth wins. Close that down. Pop that in there. Hit save in case it all goes haywire over here. So I have your information, <clears throat> everyone who's won. I don't know if I missed any, giving you any more of those, um, any of those others. Um, but I have all the information of everyone who's won over there. So if you don't get in touch with me, I will get in touch with you. Send me your email address if you are um, claiming an ele electronic prize. And your postal address if you want something physical like one of those special dice. <clears throat> right. That's it, people. We have raised. How much have we raised? Can somebody? Ah, uh, overall total to just giving for today is one thousand eight hundred and twenty-eight. So if we add that to one thousand eight hundred twenty-eight plus the four thousand four hundred thirty-one pounds eighty-eight. Oh, eighty-eight again. Spooky. We have raised. Six thousand two hundred and fifty nine pounds and eighty eight pence. I'm actually speechless, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much on behalf of me and special effects and everybody who special effect helps. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to my wonderful mods who've been absolutely phenomenal throughout this whole two week escapade. Fiery Toad, Barry and his bot. I'm falling in love with Barry's bot, I have to say. One Vigor, Mark M. I know Symposius has been here a few times. Dan the Publishing Man would have been here more if he hadn't already planned to go away at Christmas. Thank you to all of the generous donators of all of our giveaways. Frontier also gave some stuff obviously as well, so thank you for that. Thank you for Baz, to Baz 
from Special Effects for coming along and um, you know keeping you all informed and all of the regulars. Sign up to that forum thread in the Elite um, Frontier forums. You can subscribe and you'll get an email. Or if you've got preferences set to send you an email, it will send you an email when somebody posts and I will keep you informed about what we're doing next in that. And you can let me know if there's any kind of goals that you want to cover off. Um, I think all that remains for me to do is get a bit mushy and emotional. I've had the most special Christmas and I have you to thank for that. Um, not just for your generosity, but also for sharing your time and your space with me, quite literally, and having so much fun. And um, I very much look forward to seeing you all in the void in the future, in the very near future. And I think, even though I haven't got permission for it, I think there's really only one way that we can play out, isn't there? So thank you, and I shall see you guys in the void. Convenient than a Tesco Express Close to Windsor but the profit is less It keeps the businesses of Britain great It's got Europe's biggest trading estate It doesn't matter where you're from You wanna work, then come along The station's just got a new floor And the motorway runs by your door you know just where you're heading It's equidistant between London and Reading Oh, Slough My kind of town, I don't know how Anyone could put you down Don't know how Anyone could put you down To the west you've got Taplow and Bray You've got Hillingdon the other way It's a brilliant place to live and work It was in Bucks, now officially it's Berks Don't believe what the critics say Like it's soulless and boring and grey See for yourself what you're waiting for We're on the Bath Road, that's the A4 And you know just where you're heading It's equidistant between London and Reading I don't know how anyone could put you down.
<laughs> perfectly timed. It's all fluffy. Okay, very quick bonus track for those of you still in the in the chat room saying to me, "What about the leathery eggs?" Let's see. Let's see what they'll give us for these leathery eggs that we were so kindly donated by Mr. Potty. <gasps> 50,000 each. Wow. 150,000. Thank you, Potty. Thank you, everybody. Look at that. 528,000. You know what I'm doing next? I'm buying... I'm buying some big guns and I'm going to go and find me some pirates. I very much hope that you will join me. I'll see you in the... <laughs> All choked up. I'll see you in the void, commanders. <laughs>